Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. So we're up Rainbow Six News over the last couple of weeks as we roll into the new season Operation Deep Freeze. And it'll be coming out on Tuesday the 28th of November. And of course that means we're getting some game changes and stuff. So no more cooking grenades. Mirror windows will be able to be cracked at range by Ash and Callie. So you'll need something other than electrics to keep those mirror windows safe. And of course we're also getting the brand new operator which will be available to the season pass and battle pass holders for two weeks. And then of course people can pick him up with Renowned after that. And I think he's going to be fun. So we'll see how he, he plays out. It's also been revealed what streamer charms are coming with the new season. So we've got these new four being added into streamer charms that are already available. And then we got a blog post that was put up and this went over connectivity and specifically going over the server issues, which basically got really bad at the season four of last year. And they've been kind of been having major problems all the way through the year with and unfortunately downtimes being at the prime times and stuff like that. So not being good for servers and they went over like what they're trying to do and hopefully I'll get better. But it has been a full year of server issues, which is not good. And also to wrap up this season, we got a brand new elite for Azami. I actually thought they were probably launch this with the launch of the new season, but I presume they actually need to bring it out before the new season launched in order to fulfill the kind of pledge that they had of two elites. So there's again two elites for the next season. So presumably, I don't know, maybe some one in December and then one towards the very end of the season like we just had here. And then on the test server, we've had a week and a half of daily updates and they seem to have gotten most of the big bugs out of the way, which has been good. And the ones I was majorly worried about were the new operator where sometimes his stuff would defrost and bandit batteries would look like they were back on, but they wouldn't destroy gadgets and stuff like that. And that would have been terrible if it actually made it into the new season. So they seem to have fixed it on the test server. So fingers crossed everything launches fine. But knowing Siege, it'll probably come out with a whole bunch of new bugs when it actually launches for live servers. But I am looking forward to this season a lot. So hopefully it will work quite well through December. I remember I was really hyped last year at this time. And then I ended up not being able to play much Siege at all in December. So fingers crossed I can actually sit down and play a bunch of Siege. And then if you want to see something cool I've been up to. I customized an NZXT PC on the main channel. And I like how the hell it turned out. I'm very happy with it. And that was a very big surprise to receive that in the mail. So awesome. But anyway guys, that's all the news this week for Rainbow Six Siege. Hopefully you guys have a very good December and of course play lots of other games as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.